in this section let me deal four random doubts okay so like uh, let us see actually we got uh, at least some queries saying like you know sir uh, direct lightning stroke we know because directly lightning will happen on the transmission line but like you know what is meant by indirect lightning stroke okay so though lightning don't happen on the transmission line okay how it is affecting the behavior of the transmission line and all or how it is affecting or what way we have to protect lightning arrestors and all okay so basically if i have a transmission line okay so for example this is transmission line transmission line okay so it is not ground conductor and all don't consider like that it's direct transmission line only okay now for example i have cloud collision here okay so because of cloud collision because of cloud collision for example positive charges happened here okay positive charges got accumulated here then what will happen what will happen for example actually lightning is yet to happen lightning is yet to happen and lightning is not uh, like you know about to happen on the transmission line okay it's going to about to happen on some other tree for example now some currents are flowing in the load load currents or transmission line currents then what will happen means these uh, currents are going to be electrons only okay because it is not semiconductor but it is conductor metal okay so in these like you know electrons will be so much uh, what do you say attracted towards this attracted towards this such that like you know electrons will be accumulated here electrons will be accumulated here and if i think of electron density electron density will be formed like this okay it will be attracted towards this so means electrons will not come out of the wire there okay transmission line but it will be electron density will be more here so accumulated like this electron density will be accumulated like this okay so because of the strong attraction force okay now also like you know currents will come currents will go under steady state conditions okay so currents will come currents will go but to the previous currents like you know some electrons will be accumulated here which will have so much attraction force between these two okay now for example for example nearby one tree is there okay so on the tree okay so lightning happened means it is like this already we know that in rainy season in rainy season dielectric strength of the air is going to be much reduced okay so because of humidity factors and all so this particular lightning stroke can hit here or lightning stroke can hit here because this particular uh, tree also means from earth okay so from earth electrons will be okay sucked here and here also like you know electron density will be more here electron density at the center will be more here which will be towards attracting this because it will take electrons from the earth okay now for example for this at least there are two probabilities like you know this particular particular lightning stroke can occur here or can occur here for example it occurred here okay so means in between this year dielectric breakdown happen dielectric breakdown instantaneous okay so the moment like you know dielectric breakdown happened here immediately after that what will happen okay so immediately after that what will happen previously if i see from transmission line point of view some force was there which was attracting my electrons all of a sudden it's removed it's removed so where is the force to keep these electrons here like this electron density no there is no other thing like that so then immediately these electrons has to fall okay so all these electrons will travel in this direction and in this direction like this okay this will fall no so like this okay so these electrons will be like you know traveling okay because of collapse of this all of a sudden okay so then we can divide this into like you know waves okay so wave front is going to be very steep wave tail is going to be slow okay so actually some guys asked me about wave front and all okay wave front like you know di by dt is going to be very huge very huge very steep actually wave tail is going to be slow okay so these two will be the traveling waves now because of this for example i have one guy this is transmission line 
and for this in between like you know transmission line i'm going to have insulators here okay i'm going to have insulators here up means this is going to be transmission line okay so because of this huge surge okay basically where lightning arrestors will be there before substation lightning arrestors will be there immediately after that substation lightning arrestors will be there because we have to protect the substation okay so means here lightning arrestors will not be there so because of this heat what can happen like you know this particular discharge can happen okay so if somebody is standing here standing here by like you know touching that particular pole he can feel the shock he can feel the shock okay so this is going to be about indirect lightning shock so basically lightning did not happen on the transmission line but lightning happened on the tree but because of that like you know two waves two waves with huge friend like you know got distributed in two different directions two different directions okay so next thing is some guys are uh, sending emails like you know what is full load what is rated load okay so frankly i'll tell you okay uh, there is no difference okay so there is no difference at all between full load or rated load or rated capacity or like you know these are all synonymous okay but maybe some guys may tell you okay like you know full load is for example if i have a machine capacity of 10 kva if i include maybe 20 percent of like you know safety factor safety factor then 12 kva will be the rated capacity 10 kva will be the full load capacity okay so let us think logically dear we are entrepreneurs okay so entrepreneur will never ever share the secret for example for example you want to have 12 kva because like you know safety factor should not be set to the customer okay safety factor will be with the design engineer okay so design engineer will never ever share the safety factor okay for example if we reveal the safety factor what will happen let us see okay basically if i say a machine is 10 kv machine and as a designer if i share safety factor to the customer saying like 20 percent is the safety factor now what customer will say will do customer for example if his requirement is 12 kva he will buy 10 kva machine only okay so if for example if his requirement is 12 kva and if he buy 10 kva machine full load capacity then what is the purpose of having safety factor okay so there is nothing like you know actually people try to confuse you scare you okay because if guys are scared or confused okay so they feel like you know they can save their face or i don't know i don't know but the thing is there is no difference between full load and rated capacity both are same both are same okay let us see remaining doubts in the latter session